Hello Spotswood Tree Service, this is Tiffany and I just wanted to send you over a quick video showing you some tips and tricks on how to dominate the competition online, drive more Google traffic your way and increase that bottom line for you. I spoke with Julie earlier and let her know that I would be sending over this video so I hope you guys find some of the information provided useful. I just wanted to go over three things really quickly which are citations, backlinks, and keywords. So let's get started. So the first place when someone puts in a buyer intent keyword, for instance, I've got Tree Services Mobile, Alabama, you're going to see the ads. So these are people, including yourself, who are paying for clicks, who are paying to get those customers. Uh, the next place is the Google Map Pack, and this is for anyone who has a Google Business Profile. But if you click through here on this first page of the Map Pack, uh, I don't see Spotswood on here, and that's okay. It, it wouldn't be difficult to get you there, um, but as of now, you're not even on the first page of that map pack. And then uh, lastly, you'll see the organic list, which is just anyone who maybe doesn't have a Google business profile, but they have a website, or maybe they're listed on Angie's List or Thumbtack or one of those business listing websites. Uh, so I've got your Google business profile pulled up. And it looks good. The only thing that I would suggest is when you're uploading pictures to your Google business profile, you want to optimize the pictures before uploading. So this should say Spotswood Tree Service, uh, Mobile, Alabama, or Loxley, Alabama, any service that uh, you provide, or I'm sorry, any area that you provide the service in, along with a buyer intent keyword. So Tree Service, Mobile, Alabama, Tree Removal, um, anything like that. So when those Google bots crawl the website or the Google business profile, they'll see that you know what you're doing and you're a leading authority in your industry. Another thing that you'll want to do is to add some posts pretty consistently, three to five times a week. You'll want to add a, a, a quick blurb, 250 words about what tree removal is or how safe it is or if you're insured and licensed. Anything just to keep you active in Google's eyes on this Google business profile. Uh, and the last but most critical thing that you can do for this business profile is to get you some citations. And all that is is your name, address, and phone number listed on a free website directory. Uh, places like City Search, Yext, Yellowpages.com, Whitepages.com. It's just a free listing of your name, address, and phone number to get your name out there so people can uh, find you e more easily. And if you come over here, here's your website, and I love this website. There's no question about who you are, what you do, what area you provide your services in. Um, I love that. If you look at your pictures, you've got uh, Spotswood Tree Service, but again, that should be your name, address, phone number, and a buyer intent keyword there. So um, update those pictures, but you've got your services listed. I mean, I love this website. It's really good. Um, however, for Google, they're looking for about 2,000 words of content on this home page, and I don't think you quite have that. Um, so I would suggest adding more content. And within the 2,000 words of content on this home page, you'll want to drop a buyer intent keyword for every 125 to 150 words of content. That shows Google that you know what you're doing and you know how to stay active and that you're willing to show your potential clients that you are the leading authority. If you look over here, this is the number one competitor in the map pack. And I mean, they've got two call to action buttons. That's great. There's no question about what they do, but their website's kind of busy. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of content on there. It wouldn't be difficult at all to get out in front of this website at all. Um, and if you look over here, this is just an analytical research tool that I use to show how a website is doing in Google's eyes. This, the DR is your domain rating, the UR is your URL rating, and this just is, this is your trust and your strength with Google. This number is out of a 99, and right now you don't have any trust and barely any strength with Google. And the way to do that is to get backlinks. Those citations that I was speaking of, those would count as backlinks. But also, all a backlink is, is where one domain points back to your domain and shares their authority and their power from Google with you guys. 
And so you'll want to get more backlinks um, and you'll want to get more keywords. If you look here, you've got 15 keywords, but they're all branded. So unless someone is specifically looking for Spotswood Tree Service, they're not going to find you. I mean, you're you're in here for other services as well, other companies. Um, and you don't want to rank for someone else's business website. You'll want to uh, be found for tree removal, stump grinding, uh, tree services, tree care, any service that you provide in the area that you provide it in. Those are going to be the keywords that you want to get found for. So drop those keywords into that content on that home page of your website. Um, and if you look over here, this is that number one competitor again. So they don't, their domain rating is an eight, their URL rating is a 14. Again, not difficult to be. I mean, it, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? So it would take a little bit of time, but you could definitely surpass them with those numbers. You could definitely surpass them with those backlinks and those keywords. Again, just get you some citations. If you got 200 free website directory listings as your citations, that's going to put you up there for backlinks. And then, again, just go find things relevant to your industry. Arborists, landscapers, other tree service companies, things that will give you authority when they share their power with you by pointing back to your uh, domain. You don't want fast food restaurants. You don't want paving companies or software companies. You you want backlinks that are relevant to your industry. So just go get you some citations, get you some backlinks, um, drop more keywords into that content. Um, if you add content to that homepage, optimize your pictures. Make sure that you have your name, address, phone number, and a buyer intent keyword in the name of those pictures before you upload it. And then consistently post on the Google business profile, like I said, three to five times a week to show that you're the leading authority in tree care in your service area. And if you have any questions, I would love to help you guys any way that I can. Again, my name is Tiffany with Bright Ideal Web Solutions. My phone number is 502-640-3262. Thanks and have a great day.